Hey everybody, this is Pebbles the Horse, and I am Papa Sean, and we are going to show you how to do some alchemy here in uh, Kingdom Come Deliverance, as soon as Pebbles lets me in the door. Alright, so we are looking at an alchemist shop. Uh, well, at least the alchemist shop's right out front. If we go run around to the front here, here's the alchemy shop. And just so that everyone can find it, we are basically where you get started in the game. Right, you have your your entry level into the game. And then you, after the intro scene, you'll end up at the Rate Mill, and here we are in Rate. So you can get started with alchemy very very early on in the game. And it's very important in order to get your savory snaps so that you can get your your game saves. All right, so we go around back in the alchemy. You might need to have some lock picking skill to get into the back of his shop. But then you can go up here and hit that Start Alchemy. All right. You're going to see your book and any recipes you may know as well in here. So in order to utilize the book, you're going to need to know how to read. Uh, so I believe if we back out and look at the map, you will learn to read. Oh my goodness, where would you learn to read? I believe it was uh, Sasao. Sasao is where I'm going to speculate. But you'll go through quest lines where you'll, it'll bring you into the, the area that uh, has a... Uh, scribe that will teach you how to read and once you know how to read you'll be able to get some additional recipes alright but here is your recipe book we're gonna go ahead and start alchemy if you uh, see that you've got savory snaps up you can hit the um, prepare option once you uh, go in to read but you can see that I don't have it highlighted so I don't have the ingredients and when you look at the book it says nettles and belladonna so that is what we're going to need for savory snaps. So we're going to go ahead and enter our sidekick's inventory. I've got belladonna and nettles on our good friend Pebbles. Bringing those over. So belladonna and nettles is all you're going to need in order to get cracking at these savory snaps. So now I should be able to prepare. Did I not get the belladonna, just the nettles? Alright, backing it up. Backing it up. Get back over here, Pebbles. All right, so belladonna. If I look in my inventory, I should have plenty of belladonna. I do. I have 34. All right, so I'm looking at the book. It's got belladonna and nettles. And why it doesn't let me prepare, I don't know. But we're going to go ahead and get past that by going into inventory, going to belladonna, and selecting it. And then we're going to go to nettles. Did I not take the nettles? Is that why it wasn't let me prepare it? Pebbles, you stingy horse. You didn't give me the nettles. Alright, so we go to the sidekick. The nettles... ...are dropped on the ground, because I hit drop all. <laughs> Alright, so if you can't find something after you thought you transferred it from your horse, check the floor, because it's likely you had it drop on the ground. And hopefully there's nobody nearby, because those peasants will steal your junk. Alright, now now we get the prepare option, and it's going to throw all of the goodies that we need up here on the side. we got the belladonna and the nettles. Alright, so the book says we need two belladonna, we need one nettles, and we're going to need to get our cauldron going here with some wine. So here's the wine. We're going to grab that. We're going to throw that inside the pot. Alright, and it says to bring the nettles to a boil for two turns. The turns is referring to that sand glass. But we'll, let's go ahead and get our belladonna ready. So we're going to grab belladonna. And that's a one in the mortar. Splat. And then a two. A splat. Alright, so now we're ready to mortar that up. So let's go ahead and bust out with a pestle. And we're going to get in, grind that down. Alright. Get it nice and ground. And then we're going to go ahead and stick it in our dish for now splat. Alright, so now we got our belladonna ready and we just have a cauldron here ready to go. So let's go ahead and stoke that fire. Alright, we're going to get some nettles. Grab some from the nettles. And then we're going to throw it in there. Pow! Go ahead and hit, get that fire going a little bit more. And the fire is gone through the, by the bellows. We'll go ahead and flip that sand glass. Alright, so we want two turns of the sand glass, and we started a little bit late. So we're going to go about one and a half, two, before we get our others going. Stoking the flames a little bit more. We throw that sand glass again. And while that's happening, 
We'll pick up our dish full of belladonna. And BAM! Some belladonna. Alright, we get that fire going again. And we'll do one turn here. One turn for the belladonna. Alright, we'll go ahead and grab our vial. Because we're going to want to make our potion here once that sand glass goes down to none. Alright, we should have ourselves, if we did this right, a nice hot potion of savory snaps. And we did it! And we got a, a level up in our alchemy as well. So that is how you make savory snaps. A little bit of reading, a little bit of ingredients, belladonna, and uh, nettles, and everything else comes with the alchemy shop. Okay, so I have a speculation that if you're doing this in somebody's storefront shop and you use his facilities without his permission, that he might not be especially happy with us. So let's go find out. If he says, hey, you owe me money, he somehow knew what we were up about. Alright, so he doesn't seem to be any the wiser about what we've done here. So we can get back to it, make him more savory snaps. And again, you're going to need these savory snaps and we will locate them under food. Boom, savory snaps. You go ahead and hit save game and it will consume a savory snap so you can save on demand. Alright, well I hope that has helped you. I guess it's time for church. Alright, so uh, enjoy your save games, enjoy alchemy, and have a great one. I'll catch you next time.